Hello, it's me Caroline and today I'm going to show you the plants that I have collected over the past few months. So here you can see the first one that I got uh, past winter. It's just a sage plant for like cooking. Uh, this morning it was quite droopy, I just watered it. Um, <laughs> like the first plant that I'm showing you is looking like not super healthy but believe me usually it looks better than that. So this is a shelf where I keep most of my plants. Uh, I have to put them there to prevent my cat from eating them. So I got uh, some grow lights um, a few weeks ago. Uh, those ones are pretty nice. There is a schedule timer and a different uh, strength of lighting. Um, there is a little bit of sage leaves drying there. It's quite messy, but don't worry. So uh, this is one of the first one I got. It is a Phytonia, also called nerve plant. And it's quite a funny plant. It grew up a lot in the last few months. Um, it's quite a dramatic plant. When, it's, uh, when it needs to be watered, it's so droopy. Uh, it's incredible. But you water it and then in the next few hours it just perks up. This one is another one of the first one I got. It's the Photos Pearl and Jade. It has such a nice little variegation. Um, when I got it, it said it was a, a Enjoy Poros, but you can see with the marble effect there that is is that it is in fact a Pearl and Jade. It's growing quite slowly, but surely, and I love seeing like new leaves like this one. And as you can see, they're much greener than the old, older leaves. Next, I have this uh, Peperomia jelly, or also called Red Edge Peperomia. It is not growing a lot. There's a little burn from the sun. You have to be careful not watering it much. Uh, I have learned over the past weeks, months of caring for plants that I'm better uh, leaving them dry and then watering it. This is a Potos, a neon Potos. Um, yeah, not much to say about it. And just in front, I have the philodendron variety. Uh, again, in the same neon color. This one is a lemon lime. I got it last week and there's plenty of new leaves coming up. So that is very exciting. Here I have cuttings of uh, golden potos that I took from work. One of the plants was having really, really long, long stems. Uh, with like almost no leaves, just leaves at the bottom, so we gave it a trim and those are little cuttings waiting to be rooted. And then I have my sage plant that I'm trying to propagate also. So this one is quite funny. Um, it is a polka dot plant and when I first got it I didn't have the grow light yet and it lost all of its leaves. Uh, there was just one left and I was lifting it to die here and then it like grew a bunch of leaves and it's starting to get the little pink polka dots and it's adorable even if like there's just one stem but whatever I'm just surprised it's still alive then let's start with this one I have a Pilea peperomia also called Chinese money plant as you can see some of the leaves are not that pretty and um, when I got it, there was like nine babies. I think there is four or five left in there. So I'm making them grow in other pots. I have three at the moment growing. I think they're rooting fine. Uh, then another accident plant. Uh, I have this beautiful Ficus elastica um, variegated also. I think it's Tineke, I wouldn't be sure how to pronounce it. And I lost um, three leaves. When I got it at first, I didn't have the grow lamps and it was missing a little sun. And as I've learned, you really need to um, give them enough sun to be watering them. Um, how can I? S oh my God, I just noticed that there is, there is little roots. There are tiny roots developing in there. Let me show you, I'm so excited. Already, it's been like two weeks. Oh, sorry. Look at this. 
It is amazing. I can't believe this. As I was saying, I was watering it once a week, but it didn't get enough sun. So uh, the leaves just dropped. And also, I've been reading a nice book that is um, called The New Plant Parent. And they say it's normal to lose leaves. That when you get a plant from a nursery, it gets the perfect condition and then you bring it home and it has to adapt. So I have this, this ugly burnt leaf. But I'm waiting. It's been like a month, even more, that I got it and not, uh, not getting really far on that uh, leaf right there. I got this one recently. It is a watermelon peperomia. And I don't know if I can pick it up on camera, but these are like sparkly. They look like glitter. It's so pretty. It's amazing. I really love her. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my, um, I was going to say bibliotech um, shelf. So let's go in the other rooms. So here in my room, I'm not getting uh, much light. It looks bright, but it's... Um, east facing window northeast so i'm not getting the best light so i have in here my snake plant when i got it there was this little baby growing in the soil it was so tiny like big like this and i think it's been two two months since i got it and it grew so much and it's still growing i lost a few leaves uh again because i put it in a dark corner and <laughs> I love watching Plantarina and as she says, uh, low light is not no light and yeah, uh, with too little light and even if I was watering it once a month, it wasn't enough sun to uh, get her to use the water so she lost like two leaves and then my cat chewed one of the leaves, uh, so very, very annoying uh, but now it is up on a table so she can't get it. Then I got this little spider plant, what a, like a common plant. It is a variegated one, so it's a little bit more cuter than an all green one. It's growing really fast, even though it doesn't have much light. Also about the brown tips, uh, it said on the, in the parent book, plant parent book, that it's perfectly normal to have brown tip, that the plant needs to like use the nutrients in the leaves to be able to make new ones and then finally my kitchen window one of the <laughs> darkest spot in the house uh, my plant can look at the plant next door there's a oh who can't see it but there's a zizi plant right in there and the sun when there's sun it reflects on the window here so she gets a little bit of like secondhand sun uh, so this one is a curly spider plant. I was so happy when I found it at my flower shop because I mean I've been shopping plants since the end of May and I never saw one yet and it was on my wish list and this one has like five uh, spider plants in there and it's already starting to grow little baby spiders and this one is growing a lot. It is adorable. So yeah, those are all my plant babies. Some are easier to care for than others. Um, I would love to make like more dedicated plant videos and tell you about the tips and tricks I've learned as a beginner, as a former plant murderer, and um, as a cat parent too. I know some people have cats and they have no problem, but mine, she sees a plant and her eyes just go huge and she's so excited and want to chew on them. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, starting to ramble. I just wanted to make this quick plant tour with a little information thrown in there, but I'll, like I said, I want to do more in-depth plant videos. So, yeah, tell me if there's any plant you think I should get. And uh, also, which one are your favorites? Really, let's start a plant discussion in there. I would love to. So I'll see you next week. Take care.